With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the given question is, the springs shown in the figure are all unstretched. Okay. In the beginning, when a man starts pulling the blocks, the man exerts a constant force F on the block. Find the amplitude and the frequency of the motion of the block. Okay. So, now, the, the key concept here is that, that, that if we write force equals to minus kx in simple harmonic motion, then in case of multiple spring, I have to write force equals to minus k equivalent into x. Okay. And the time period in simple harmonic motion is given by 2 root m by k in case of single spring. But if there are multiple springs, then the time period becomes 2 pi root m by k equivalent. Okay. Now how to find k equivalent? So if the springs are in series, okay, if the springs are in series, let's suppose there are two springs, the first one having spring constant k1 and second one having spring constant k2 and a mass m is attached, then their k equivalent, 1 by k equivalent will be equals to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2, okay, this is in the case of when the spring are in series, okay, now if the springs are in parallel, okay, springs are in parallel, then, then the two springs will be, here is k1 and here is k2, okay, and a block of mass m is attached. In this case, k equivalent becomes k1 plus k2, okay. So, this is how we have to find the k equivalent. Now, in this question, now in this question, we have to find the amplitude and the frequency of the motion, okay. So, first, we have to find the amplitude and the frequency also let me find the k equivalent of this system first now in this case this k2 and k3 are in series okay so finding k equivalent of these two series first so 1 by k equivalent will be equals to 1 by k2 plus 1 by k3 okay now solving this i will be getting 1 by k equivalent <coughs> as k2 plus k3 divided by k2 k3 okay so k equivalent comes out to be k2 k3 divided by k2 plus k3 okay now this is the equivalent of these two springs are which are in series now these two this k equivalent series these these two springs are in parallel with this k1 spring okay this k1 spring hence i have to find the next k equivalent which is k equivalent dash okay so k equivalent dash double dash equals to k equivalent now, since this k1 spring is in parallel with k2, k3, hence I have to add both of these. So, because in case of parallel springs, I find k2 equivalent as the uh, spring summation of spring constant directly. So, k equivalent plus k1. This is the final k equivalent. So, k equivalent comes out to be k2, k3 divided by k2 plus k3 plus k1. Okay. So, if I solve this further, I will be getting k equivalent equals to k2 k3 plus k1 k2 plus k1 k3 divided by k1 times of sorry divided by k2 plus k3 okay so this is final k equivalent now we have to find the amplitude and frequency okay so first we think the first thing is we know that the frequency equals to 1 by time period and in case of multiple spring system time period is given by t equals to 2 pi root m by k equivalent okay so if i found time period then time period will come out to be e equals to 2 pi over m divided by k equivalent and k equivalent is k1 k2 plus k2 k3 plus k1 k3 into k2 plus k3 so this is the time period now frequency will be 1 upon time period hence the frequency of this multiple spring system comes out to be 1 by 2 pi root k1 k2 plus k2 k3 plus k1 k3 divided by m times of k2 plus k3 okay so this is the frequency now we have to find out one more thing which is amplitude okay so to find amplitude since a force f is acting on this so for amplitude at the final position when the blocks comes to rest okay let's suppose at this position 
the blocks comes to rest in this case this force will be equals to k into amplitude okay force will be equals to k into amplitude hence what i can write is so f equals to k equivalent into a now we have to find the amplitude so amplitude will be equals to f by k equivalent okay so if i write the value of k equivalent here i will be getting amplitude as f divided by f divided by k1 k2 plus k2 k3 plus k1 k3 divided by k2 plus k3 okay so this will be the amplitude of this multiple spring system and this will be the frequency okay so these two things we have to find out in this question and we are done with these things this is the frequency thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today